So today we're going to take a look at Aki Flow versus Routine. This is my first ever versus video, so I'm quite excited for this and also nervous because I feel like I might annoy a few people with these versus videos, like which one is the best? Hopefully by the end of this video, we'll give you an outline of what each of these are, what features they present, and finally who they're best for and which one to go for in this video. So today we're very lucky to be sponsored by Miro. They are a visual collaboration tool, great for hybrid and IRL teams, even remote teams as well. And we're going to be using them in this video to present a few of the pros and cons as we go throughout this. So it's a great visualization tool. You can find it below. Thanks to those guys for sponsoring this video. So let's start with what they are. Now, AkiFlow, let's start with AkiFlow. It's a task consolidation tool. And you're probably wondering, what's consolidation? It basically means you're bringing all the tasks from different applications and even in the same application into one location. And it presents your tasks and a calendar in one hub. Be able to manage them all in one location. It's quite handy for those who like time blocking, but also for those who want sort of integration heavy features like ClickUp, Notion, and many more to be brought into one location. A lot of people like the fact that it's got that sort of function because they can still use the other applications but organize themselves in AkiFlow. It's quite nice for a lot of people. Whereas Routine is still in its early days, it presents an interesting solution because it's more like a daily planner combining tasks, your calendar, and your notes. It's quite an interesting setup. It's a very beautifully designed application. And basically imagine it as a daily planner because you can see your today area, you can plan your week ahead, and you can capture some useful notes, but it's not necessarily advanced note taking that you see in something like Notion, but it brings together everything like that. So we talked a little bit about the features there. Um, routine, I would say, presents some nice features with planning and is much more designed for personal use than necessarily collaborating with other people. It gives you a way to visualize your week ahead, plan it, coordinate it, and also allows you to plan your day with your events as well, which is really nice. And the application is really well built. It's got a great function called console. I don't know whether it's called console anymore. It used to be called console, where you can capture stuff quite fast and see at a glance all of your upcoming meetings around the edge. I really like that feature, but it's definitely one that presents some unique abilities at being able to weave them all together. It's sort of like a very upmarket, well-produced version of Note Plan 3, although Note Plan 3 is very good. I just mean in terms of the design and structure. So whereas AkiFlow is much more for those who are hard and love the calendar experience and consolidation, it focuses much more on organizing yourself for the day and has some abilities like hand-holding, which allows you to close down your day and start up your day, helping you to plan the most effective tasks for that. It also connects up with other applications like Gmail to bring in starred emails or any email you want, Todoist, and many more. So it's sort of like your base for all of your tasks and to be able to plot them out in your calendar. So it's great for those who are calendar task centric and love that view. Now, when it comes to pricing, obviously pricing does change, but AkiFlow is priced at $50 per month. So a little bit more expensive. Again, it presents a, more of a daily planner, more professional setup because naturally it's designed for consolidating applications. So again, I would probably recommend this much more for those who are freelancers, those who are running a small business, and those who maybe work with clients externally and need to be part of your different devices or different uh, softwares that you don't necessarily might not want to use all the time. And I would say Routine, whilst doesn't have a pricing at the moment, probably has a plan for pricing very soon, I'm sure. It presents a, more of a personal planner for you to be able to get started on the go. So who are these best for? Because it's difficult sometimes to be able to go, I like both of these, they're gorgeous. <laughs> but I would say AkiFlow is for the more intense focused work especially if you're task and calendar centric. Routine, I would say it's much more for daily planning and organizing yourself, but also keeping things light. Like for example, using pages to structure uh, meeting notes, but much more for yourself than anybody else. So again, they're similar in a lot of sense, but I'd say AkiFlow presents a more uh, polished, better solution for individuals that are working in a professional setting. Whereas routine, again, is the same, but also focuses much more on your sort of personal management versus the consolidation of tools, that AkiFlow, that is a different layer 
when it comes to stuff. So hopefully that gave you a better idea of what Routine and AccuFlow do. Thank you very much to Miro for sponsoring this feature and helping me to bring this to life, this video. Thank you very much, folks. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you're new to Keep Productive, do subscribe. And if you want to check out more productivity tools, go over to Toolfinder. It's been great teaching you a little bit about AccuFlow and Routine, and I'll see you all very soon. Cheerio.